What's good, Fit Friends? It's me, Migo D, and welcome to our channel, Fit Friends, wherein we'll be discussing and reviewing healthy foods and snacks to see how they can benefit you in your current diet. And in this week's episode, we'll be talking all about the quintessential diet food, which is the canned tuna. And as you can see guys, when you go in the grocery or when you are trying to select a tuna, you would see a lot of options and varieties in terms of flavor and branding. So this week, we want to dive in and give you the simple information on what the differences are between them. Because some of them have flavoring, some of them have oil, some are in brine, some are premium. So what's the difference? We'll be talking all about that in this week's episode of What's That Food? So we'll be talking all about the numbers later. But first, we're going to do a blind taste test. In this blind taste test, we'll be trying to see if I can tell what the difference is between a premium chunks in vegetable oil versus a regular flakes in vegetable oil. And then we'll be blind tasting as well the chunks in water versus the flakes in brine. Technically guys, brine is just salt water, so it's water as well. So we'll be trying to see what the difference is between the premium variety and the regular variety. And by the way guys, will not be blind tasting the hot and spicy and the calamansi one because well you can already tell what they are it's hot and spicy if you're a fan of spicy foods and if you like tasty foods with a bit of more zest here's the calamansi variety all right guys here we are on the blind taste test okay so remember I'm going to see and check if I can tell the difference between the premium variety versus the regular variety. Also, we can't turn on the fan right now because it will mess up the audio. So please do enjoy the video and hit that like button while I sweat to death in front of the camera. Anyway, let's go back to the blind taste test. A good thing we're not eating the hot and spicy because it's so hot. Alright, I am really trying not to spill oil while I take a bite on this. Oh man, this takes me back to second year high school and I'm trying to diet for the first time ever. <laughs> really good tuna, I miss eating tuna. Now for the second taste test. Okay, you know what guys, surprisingly enough, there is a difference in flavor and taste. Okay guys, so I can't really tell the main describing words on what makes them different, but there is a difference between the two. The first one is a much more prominent tuna taste, while the second one is more mild but it's still tuna. And yes, they are both in vegetable oil. Uh, in terms of that, at least they're the same in terms of flavor. But in the tuna, yeah, there is a difference, surprisingly. I'm guessing that the first one is the premium because it's more tuna -y. And the second one is the regular version. So now the in brine slash water tuna. Okay, I'm gonna go to the far left. Man, that's very tuna -y. Hashtag very tuna -y. <laughs> Comment below. Okay, now for the second one. Ooh, big difference. Super big difference. The second one is definitely better. Leaps and bounds. The second one tastes more fresh than the first one. The first one is still kind of fresh, but I'm pretty sure if you're particular with how fish tastes like, you might not like the first one. Um, the second one, I think, is the premium one right. since the flavor is just so different. It's more flavorful, tastes more fresh. I really like it. The first one, not so much. So I think that's the regular version. Right. Wow! <laughs> so I like this better. Yeah. Whoa! Cool. Okay guys, now that we're done with the taste test, let's talk about more about the product. First, they're all high in omega-3. Okay, so what is omega-3? In a nutshell, omega-3 is basically a healthy fat. So when you take omega-3 in your body, it increases your HDL, which is your healthy cholesterol, and helps lower LDL, which is your bad cholesterol. So basically, healthy fat is the fat that you want in your body. Okay guys, more about the Dolphin Safe Tuna slash Earth Island Institute. So they're basically an organization that is responsible for conserving, preserving, and restoring ecosystems on which civilization depends. So if you're a fan of that thank you century tuna for helping the organization out all right guys just so you know the 
premium variety Century Tuna is certified halal and also has no preservatives. Okay guys, now we'll talk about the price. So most definitely the premium ones are the ones that are much higher in the price range. But the most affordable one is the flakes and vegetable oil. Okay guys, now we'll talk about the numbers, the nutrition facts. Okay, so per serving is 56 grams and per can is 180. So that's roughly three servings per can. All right, now for the calories. So the one with the highest calories per 56 grams serving is the premium red chunks and vegetable oil with 120 calories per 56 grams. Whereas the flakes in brine and the premium red chunks in water are the ones tied with the lowest calories per serving with 40. Next, the fat. The hot and spicy and the flakes and vegetable oil are both tied with the highest fat per serving with 7 grams of fat and the one with the lowest fat per serving is the flakes in brine with 0. Next, talk about the carbohydrates. The premium red chunks and vegetable oil is the one with the highest carbohydrates per serving with 9 and the lowest one is again tied with flakes and brine and premium chunks in water. By the way guys, the flakes and brine has 0 carbohydrates per serving whereas the premium red chunks in water is 0.9 so they're kind of the same. I would put them in the same bracket. Next, your favorite and my favorite, protein. Actually guys, in terms of protein, they're actually not that far off, which is really great, right? So, the ones that have the highest number of protein is actually premium red chunks in water, premium red chunks in vegetable oil, and flakes in brine. With all of them having 9 grams of protein, and the ones with the lowest protein per serving is the calamansi, the flakes and vegetable oil, and the hot and spicy, with all 7 grams of protein per serving. But again, you can see 7 grams per serving of protein and then 9. They're not that far off. They're pretty good options as well in terms of protein. Okay guys, now for the bottom line. As we've discussed earlier in the charts, as you can see that the premium variety and the flakes and brine have equal amounts of protein. But the flakes and brine is more affordable with pricing at 43 pesos compared to the 61 pesos of the premium ones. The way I see it, if you want the tuna with the best bang for your buck, I think you should get the flakes and brine because it has the highest protein, lowest carbs, no fat, and it's the most affordable compared to the numbers of the premium ones. But as you can see a while ago, in our blind taste test, unfortunately, the flakes in brine is the one that I really didn't prefer flavor-wise. But, you know, if you're resourceful in the kitchen, if you can season it well and mix it with sauces, I really prefer the flakes in brine because if you can just work around with the flavors, there's no problem. And if you're a busy person, guys, I suggest that you get the chunks in water because it's kind of the same also in terms of numbers with the flakes in brine minus the fat content. Also, this is where the calamari and the hot and spicy shine because you just open the can and there it is you know you don't have to mix it with anything else you just probably put it in bread or in rice whichever you prefer or just by itself and then you're good to go so that's the bottom line and that's it for this week's episode guys if you like the video why not give us a thumbs up if you like this kind of content give us a subscribe and hit that bell so you're always updated whenever we upload a new video and as always guys it's me migodi your fit friend reminding you to always eat your protein plus ultra till next time bye bye